We would be honored if you would join us. Hey folks, welcome to the ninth day of the Phantom Manus. I uh, wanted to just have a little chat today about young Jake Lloyd. This is a this is a kid who is oh he's arguably not a kid anymore. He's a he's a grown man. He is he is not that far away from my age. I, th I believe he is now thirty five years old. I'm thirty six, so there's not much difference between us. Um, Jake was cast. I think it's at seven or eight for the role of Anakin Skywalker in the Phantom Menace, and um, yeah, he's 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 not had the easiest easiest life uh, since. Um, there was an article that came out recently. I can't th think can't think of who threw, um, but it was basically a bit of an interview with his mother, um, basically coming out and sort of you know laying everything out on the out in the open about Jake's sort of issues with. With mental health, um, and you know, I, I, mental health is definitely an important part of, of of life. I look to it very, very strongly, having had my own sort of mental health issues in the past. Um, I still have, still have moments. Um, you know, most most of it's under control now, so I'm I'm doing okay. One day I may open up about it a little bit more, um, but for now we're talking about about Jake Lloyd. Um, you know, all I can say is, thank heavens he wasn't around in today's internet era, um, where the internet's just an absolutely vile place. It is for 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 a lot of things. Um, you know, for 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 many reasons, it's fantastic. You know, it's it's connectivity. It's you know being able to connect. That's why I'm still here on YouTube after 13 years. But in terms of just just people just not having any sort of comprehensible reaction to their to their actions you know things they say online there's nothing nothing really stopping people from saying things that you know whether they feel it or not there's just there's there's no filter um and um i was i was very grateful to hear from you know the the article with jake lloyd's mother um forgive me for not remembering her name off the top of my head um that they were able to shield Jake from a lot of the uh, from a lot of the vitriol and and the BS that was sort of bombarded his way when his execution of Anakin Skywalker didn't line up to a lot of a lot of people's visions and and you know thoughts and ideas of who Anakin Skywalker might be um, is to a point I I understand how people feel that way you know it's it's a double ended sword like I, I, in a way I sort of, I kind of understand you know people had. 16 years of, of Star Wars and imagining what a young Anakin Skywalker could be like if they were to retell her, you know, go back and tell his story. And when, when George decided to cast someone um, that would relate to his, his young son at the time, um, which is what, it, this is purely my understanding of the situation, is, um, you know, he cast someone a little bit younger than probably people would expecting. Um you know, in order to relate to his his young son at the time, who was probably around the same age. Had George had a teenager at the time, maybe he might have cast a little bit older. But, um, yeah, it's, it's whether or not Star Wars and, you know, the backlash of fans truly had an impact on Jake's mental health is... Is up for debate, you know. It's not up for debate, you know. There's there's people within his family and in a circle that are the only ones that really know. Um, but yeah, just to, I just wanted to say that you know he he didn't deserve that. He was a kid, man. Like, come on, you know you, you don't. It's it's fine not to like something. You you don't have to dis. You don't have to love everything, and that's fine. But um, you know, to attack to attack a kid, man, that's pretty low. You know, it's, it's, it's sad, it's low, um, and if, if it did have any impact on him whatsoever, you know, that's, you know, it's poor form from people, you know, I'm not, I'm not here to get negative, <laughs> that's not what I do, I, I just want to, I just want to, I want to bring this back around by saying I, I love what Jake did, I watched episode one in cinemas again yesterday, and 
Oh, he was fantastic, man. Oh, he's he's really he's a cute kid. You know, he did what he needed to do. I think he played off some emotional beats really, really well. You know, that scene where he, you know, he turns around to see his mother again and then runs up. You know, you know, I, I just can't do it, man. I just can't do it. You know, that's that's such a hard hitting moment. Elevated by John Williams' score, I think he was just he nailed that perfectly. But, you know, he's poor dude, you know, he's had obviously a lot of a lot of issues with mental health, um, schizophrenic and you know, obviously that leads to things from like depression and anxiety and you know, a lot of mental stress and you know, time in time in jail, I believe, as well. Um but yeah, from from what we've heard recently, is that uh, he's 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 into a quite a good stint of uh, of rehabilitation, and it sounds like he's he's on the up and up, which is fantastic, which is what we all want. We'd love to see Jake come out to conventions at some point when he's feeling when he's feeling better, if he's got finds that confidence, because I think we saw it we saw it a recent recently with uh, Ahmed Best in celebration of Chicago and, you know, he came out to an absolute standing ovation and, you know, I put a little video up on YouTube and I'm still getting comments about that today. And I don't, I don't doubt for a second that Jake Lloyd would receive that because kids like me, you know, that grew up, you know, we, we appreciate it. We, we enjoyed it. And I think George always said that to, to Ahmed Best. He sort of said, you know, people may not like it now, but the kids that love it now will, you'll see this in the future. And George was always right. George always knew what he was doing. And, you know, I think I think the warnings were there for these actors that you even, even hear from Ewan McGregor these days where it's, you know, he was thought they were universally hated for what they did with the prequels. And to see now there is an entire generation of the fan base that that would stand up and, and cheer and I'd love to see Jake Lloyd come back out to the public eye and, you know, see that he is loved and appreciated for what he did for Anakin Skywalker and, um, you know, own the own the role that he did when he was a kid. Like, he was a kid, man. Like, <laughs> I just, I, I just sort of, yeah. This is just something I wanted to talk about. You know, like I said, I'm I'm an advocate. I probably don't do enough to bring about mental health you know, awareness and stuff like that. It's something I'd love to do more of. Um, don't really know how to, but, you know, on the off chance that Jake's ever going to see this or any family members are going to see this, just want to say thank you. Um, you know, you, so I gave me the ability to, you know, I saw the, I saw the originals as a kid, um, but I really grew up with the prequels and seeing, Seeing Jake, who was, you know, mate, like I said, a year or two younger than me, I was able to grow up through, through that. I was sort of understand Anakin, then growing up through Hayden's portrayal of Anakin as well. Another actor who got sort of panned for, panned for his work, but is now universally loved by a generation that now has a voice and can speak up a little bit more, not getting so squashed by the older generation, but. You know, it is. Just Star Wars is generational and it's just got to appreciate that, you know, you may not love what's coming out now, but your kids, it's, it's for the next generation. It's not always, if you come across and love it, like I still love the sequel trilogy, that's, and that's fine. Um, but yeah, it wasn't necessarily for my generation. It's for kids that my generation has. So yeah, I just wanted to speak up a little bit and uh, just say thank you to Jake Lloyd. We appreciate everything he did for Anakin Skywalker. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say. So we'll see you again for another video tomorrow. May the Force be with you always.